Thailand's former Prime Minister Yingluk Shinawatra has been banned from office for five years and faces criminal charges that could see her jailed for ten years. She's been impeached by a parliament appointed by the army that overthrew Shinawatra's government in a coup last May. It accuses her of negligence in a controversial subsidy scheme that paid farmers double the market rate for rice and cost the country billions of euros. Speaking on Thursday before the decision, but clearly anticipating it, the former Premier said banning someone from office could mean I'm barred from politics for five years. That would violate my basic rights. This is the latest twist in a saga that has pitted the royalist military establishment against the Shinrawatch family and its largely rural following. This man backs the move against the former PM. The rice subsidy scheme is unforgivable because there was corruption and it caused the country a huge loss, he says. The morals of Thai society have deteriorated because the rules and regulations have become tarnished. But this Bangkok resident, a motorcycle taxi driver, disagrees. I don't think it's right, he says. It's taking political rights away from someone. Despite Shinawatra's popularity, there were no signs of protests on Friday. Public gatherings are banned under martial law.